Hi there, my name is Sage Canada, and I'm a professional mountain ultra trail athlete. As a guy and an endurance athlete, I'll admit that sometimes I have a little bit of body odor issues. I also get acne and have to clean off my face a bit. And sometimes I even get some bad hair days. I was pretty lost until I found a company that had some products that I could trust with these issues. And that's why I trust in Everyman Jack products. Look fresh and feel fresh with products like shampoos and conditioners, face washes, and deodorant, to name a few. These products all have naturally derived ingredients and are never tested on my good friends, the animals. For more information, follow Everyman Jack at everymanjack.com. Hashtag Everyman Jack, hashtag sponsored, hashtag ad. Enter promo code SAGE10 for a discount on these products. Link in the description below or in my bio. All right, September 25th, 2021. Uh, this is one of those bad hair days, I would say. Um, thanks to Everyman Jack, though, for sponsoring this video. And uh, as you know me, you know, it's influencer life, hashtag influencer life, hashtag never subtle uh, with the commercial ads there. But uh, yeah, check out that promo code SAGE10. Uh, check out the affiliate link. If you like Everyman Jack products, I actually have truthfully liked them uh, growing up using their hair clay uh, for probably Oh, I don't know how many years, at least five or six years, I'd say. So uh, yeah, thanks to them for that. Uh, but let's get this vlog started. afternoon I believe it's after 12 p.m. now actually and uh, yeah enjoying some breakfast for lunch but uh, I think we want to get up into the high country today it's been a beautiful gorgeous start of fall here in Colorado hasn't been too cold and snowy yet uh, but we'll see when we get up to altitude but uh, trying to maybe see some fall colors changes uh, in the aspen trees there might be a couple up there but beautiful weekend it's probably gonna be pretty crowded out on the trail but we're gonna drive up there soon uh, after I carbo load with these delicious pancakes. Mm -mm -mm. Real maple syrup too. Nice and fluffy, full of blueberries. How I like it. Little bit of a traffic jam here heading into Netherland. This is insane. I've never seen it this crowded here. I guess it's just for leaf, leaf peeping. There's a good view over there, I guess, but. All right, so starting off the run here. Fortunately, the trailhead here isn't as crowded. Helps when you start later in the day. Most people are done with their morning adventures, but uh, let's get out here. We'll do a big loop. I think it'll be about 15 miles and uh, see what the colors are like up on the trail. Start my chorus. This is my schema route in the winter. Oh man, I promised I'd get emotional on you guys. Just man, I got emotional all of a sudden. And it's, uh, it's because I haven't been up here since winter, since doing schemo training. 
which was before my pulmonary embolism. And I haven't been able to get up here all summer. Sorry. It's been a long time coming to get up in the high country that I miss so much and that I love so much. Sorry, I, I didn't think I'd get this emotional. It's just so beautiful. And I missed it so much. So it's, it's so good to be back up here. I just love it. Man, the beauty makes you emotional. It's kind of crazy, but it hurts my heart this time in a good way. <laughs> I'm happy and it's just so humbling. It's just, it's so humbling and beautiful to be able to be in these places. I miss it so much. All right, let's get it. Look at this view. This mountain's called Autobahn, 13,000 foot peak. Then you got Long's Peak way off in the distance, off the right. Autobahn's above Brainerd Lake though, which you're gonna drop down towards. All right, so coming back on the sourdough trail, heading towards South Sourdough. Done snowshoe races on this trail. So different to see it covered in snow. But anyway, I wanted to talk a bit on kind of uh, letting the emotions out, so to speak, or uh, wearing your emotions on a sleeve, not bottling them up for too long, right? I kind of uh, don't have a good poker face. I tend to try to be honest and transparent and not hide things. Or not to, I hate it when there's too many facades on social media. Too much, we talk about fakeness, right? And social media by default kind of puts you into a position where maybe you're only posting epic mountain runs and cool vlogs and how a great day is going, like today for me. But, uh, you know, the reality is it's been a really tough year for me. It's been a tough year for everyone because of COVID. <laughs> But, you know, there could be all sorts of things going on on the sidelines in life, behind the camera, behind the lens, when the camera's not rolling, that are hard. For me, the, the, of course, the toughest struggle was the pulmonary embolism, though. Uh, but, you know, we all have little battles like that. And sometimes when you bottle up emotions, be they sadness or frustration with yourself, with others, uh, could be, you know, grudges maybe we're holding on to even, or something on social media, something silly, uh, little things like that. I think especially as a guy, uh, sometimes it's good to let it out. Maybe you have to let it out by yourself on a trail. Oh, um, it's a constructive way of letting out bottled up emotions because if they boil over and fester, they could come out more as rage or extreme disappointment and depression and sadness. And I think that goes back to the whole mental health argument and, you know, run for that mental release, that physical release gets the serotonin flowing, the endorphins, the rush, right? Um, and like I said, I've learned to appreciate that more with my somewhat near-death experience this year. So maybe you could relate to that with any sort of stressors in your life, you know, take a deep breath, realize it's gonna be okay. And, uh, you know, try to be 
I guess I'm trying to always be more sensitive to other people's lives, their perspective on things. And they realize that you may be on the other side of the world. You may live in the flatlands on a beach or at sea level or, you know, in the farmlands of the US or South America or somewhere, Alaska, I don't know. But uh, we're all in this together, really. And hopefully we could get some positive energy going and uh, quell those demons, so to speak. Am I using that word correctly? Quell? I don't even know what that means. Uh, you know, enjoy life more and encourage each other and make each other stronger. Because I think that is what's worth striving for. Sorry for my little rant there. I'm gonna be finishing up here. Uh, I'll put the Strava data up there, but surprisingly calm and quiet on the trail today. Uh, a lot of people know the leaves are beautiful right now, but in another week, they could easily turn brown and fall off. And it could get snowy and cold very quickly here, especially in the high country. I'm at like 10,000 feet right now, 9,000 meters. So up here, the weather changes fast with the seasons, but that's kind of the beauty of it. But uh, thanks so much to all the Patreon supporters really making this channel possible. Supporting me, especially those medical bills are piling up. Uh, really can't appreciate your support enough. Thanks to title sponsor Hoka One One, well, all my sponsors, Camelback Chorus, Spring Energy, Compressed Sport, to name a few, uh, Waffles, you know, Strava. It's, uh, I do commercials and plugs all the time because I really appreciate their support. And the affiliate links, even with Everyman Jack below, and those commercials really help pay the bills. So I don't mean to always be pr plugging product, but it's my job and it's the name of the game and how I make a living. So I do appreciate you guys subscribing on here, liking these videos, sharing these videos. Really hope your running's doing well. Check out our training plans at higherrunning.com. It's a business plug, Coach Sandy and I sell training plans for any service, any distance. Hope you're doing well. Stay tuned for more of you to Max Productions. Time to fly.